Commonwealth Casino Commission Executive Director Andrew Yum rushed into the special meeting minutes after it started, asking for a two-hour delay as settlement negotiations continue with Imperial Pacific International. The CCC is expected to decide the fate of IPI's casino license. When they returned in the afternoon after another two-hour delay, Yom said they've exhausted all options. For all intents and purposes, I just don't think that uh, this settlement can go through. So, I therefore, I, I, so I'm here to, to let you know that uh, we don't have a deal. No settlement uh, is to take place. So you do what you got to do in terms of uh, your um, decision. KUAM learned that the negotiation started three days ago. If the revocation vote were to happen, it would be based on two out of five enforcement actions. The first is to maintain minimum payroll services, and the other is for non-payment of 2020 regulatory fees. Residents voiced support and opposition during public comments. Their time here should be over. They should leave this island. They don't need to rebrand. They don't need to buy another frozen food company. They don't need to come back with another tactic. The eyes are on this place now. You should not just throw this project away because something wrong has happened. All the wrongs that has happened, the CNMI allowed it to happen. CNMI is at fault for this failure. CNMI can correct it. What message are we sending to the world? We have an investor who wants to invest in our CNMI such as IPI. Unfortunately, some house leaders will do whatever necessary to ensure that the investor's IPI fails. I recommend that the governor take action and remove this commission should you members fail once again to act in your fiduciary responsibility to uphold the Constitution of the Commonwealth and revoke IPI's license today. As of press time, the CCC did not take any official action. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.